Hey guys, this is AppSug05 here. Um, this is a video. It's going to be about the touchpad, HP touchpad. Uh, many of you have heard about it. You've heard that they sold them out for like uh, 100 bucks with 16 gigs. 32 gig was going for 150. They had another sale uh, maybe a couple weekends ago. And uh, they went for the same price. These units were refurbished. Anyways, um, so we've all heard about them and everything. I've uh, seen a whole bunch of videos on them. So I just thought I might as well go ahead and put a video up on about the HP touchpad. I've messed with these things a lot. I haven't messed with the web website on it too much. Um, I mean enough to get around and you know I've used it. I got an account and stuff and uh, they come across my hands quite often. Uh, people want Android on them and, um, and that's really where it's at actually. Um, these things have, um, let me open this box right quick. Okay, that's better. Um, so these things um, have uh, they're they're really nice actually. They um, it's just a regular tablet. It's a 9.7 inch tablet. Um, got the little uh, says HP on the back. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, and uh, in the box, you get the instructions and um, you get your charger and your charging cable over here. And um, of course, you have a tablet. So the thing is that WebOS doesn't provide as much support as the Android community has. I mean, that there's some people out there that mess with it that make some cool stuff for it, and it's actually a really optimized system, in my opinion. Um, when you compare it to like Android, the on Android, I, I do get a lot of bugs and stuff like that. But you know what? Um, I personally, I, I take Android over this any day. But um. So let's move this box to the side and bring this in here. So first of all, as you can see, this one's already has the Android system on it. I use Go Launcher a lot on the stuff that I um, that I put Android on, like the Nook Color video and stuff like that. And uh, it's just a really neat launcher, anyways. Maybe I should make a video about that, right? Um, so as you can see, it's really smooth, like. I have no complaints about it at all. I haven't overclocked this. Uh, everything's really responsive. Calendar, all your Google Google apps work. I can't thank Sanjay Mod enough for this. They make these cool ROMs for all these devices. Uh, fully functional. This is actually a, a beta. Uh, this is the second beta. There's a, a one after this one, and I used it, and I had I, I didn't really see too much of a difference. And uh, so I'm just showing you this tablet here. Um, this one has the second, the second one on it. Um, so anyway, so you got this big screen. Uh, it's really cheap. You can buy this on Amazon for like 300 bucks, a little bit less than 300 bucks for the 32 gig one. And um, in my opinion, it's really worth it. Um, I personally don't like to carry a, a tablet around this big, but some people actually use it. Uh, and if you have an application, you know, some type of use for it specifically, then I would recommend going this route. This is a, uh, it's better than spending, you know, 600, 700 bucks on a, on a tablet, you know, 10, 10 inch tablet. And, uh, you're really going to get the same thing. So unless you're looking for a camera, uh, on the back with flash and stuff like that, then this is not for you. But, um, this has a, a, a little camera on top and on the web OS side, you can do some video chatting and stuff. On the Android side, the camera is still broken. That's the downfall to it. But like I said, this is a better, and, and it's still working. They're still working on it, and they're improving on it. So it's not the final version, by by, by no means. Uh, you can see um, some of the some of the uh, games in the market, for example, do not work. You can download them and and everything, and all of a sudden they say it's not compatible with this. So that uh that's disappointing sometimes, but you know it is what it is sometimes you have a just you can have an actual android phone stock android and some stuff just not compatible with it you probably just don't see it on your browser on your market because it already recognizes your phone uh but in this case this is a device that's actually using android as a second operating system um so some of the games that do work you have angry birds works uh like fruit ninja this person, for example, likes really likes this game, so they are uh, going kind of crazy on it. Uh, let me turn this volume down a little bit. So, 
we'll go to new game just to show you that it works we'll go to classic and there you go alright pause play go back anyways so I'll get back out of here let me see something else we can look at documents you can create documents on here you know you can use one of these apps from the market this one's uh, documents to go you can create word documents Excel PowerPoint slides and they look great in this big screen you know compared to my 7 inch tablet that I usually carry around myself uh, that is a big plus but for me personally I just don't like carrying this big tablet around uh, that's what I use my laptop for um, the camera as I mentioned it's broken you can actually turn it on and you can see you know it looks kinda grainy um, on the HP side it still looks grainy but when you actually take the picture and you view it it looks really nice and crisp uh, in the Android side you can see but if you try to take a picture with it in a couple of seconds it'll let you know it's force closing and there's nothing that you can do about it right now uh, you can try to download some other camera app off the market and it's still not gonna work um, so it's something they're working on uh, a lot of people don't use uh, don't use the camera on the tablets anyways so maybe that doesn't matter to you guys uh, you can see here you can uh, read books it's great for that uh, open up this Bible app and um, you know it's really smooth it's no lag um, go back to the home screen the calendar you got your market uh, gmail you have um, YouTube there's a bug in YouTube um, where if you watch in um, a video and you watch it in portrait mode you get a uh, here's a sound but you can't see the picture so if you turn it to landscape mode then you can see the picture and watch the video as you normally would so that's not too big of an issue but maybe it is for some people so I'll throw it out there and um, I don't even think there's YouTube installed in this let's find out yes it is I didn't see it alright so here you guys I'll show you right quick I'll go to my videos I don't want to be looking at other people's stuff and go here you go so what's up guys this is app sub zero five as and you can tell just making a quick there's no video now if you turn it sideways video want you to see this this is android 2.3.4 this is uh scroll of red rom Come to aksreal.com. Oh, sorry about that. It there, um, it's got a few bugs in it. Never seen that happen before. <laughs> sorry. Let's find out. I'm not sure if it's my video or if it's the tablet doing something. I don't What's know. What's up, guys? This is App Sucks never seen it do that kind of stuff before well I guess it's something I have to look into but um anyways I've seen it work this whole time I mean I've, I've probably done about 10 11 of these things and I never had that issue I'll just probably reflash this thing for the person just uh, to make sure that they don't have any issues but um you got the notification bar on the bottom as you can tell clear um, and that's about it guys just want to show you how smooth this tablet works if you guys are still considering you're not gonna catch the hundred bucks uh, for a tablet sale but you can still go on like on Amazon let's say and on, on eBay you can catch them for anywhere from 250 300 350 you know basically people can name their prices um, since HP doesn't sell them anymore 
you can go like on Craigslist and buy them used though and maybe you could get a good deal there so if you guys are interested you're looking for a cheaper alternative than six seven hundred bucks even five hundred bucks this is a great way to go just tutorials all online you can write comment ask questions um, there's people that do it as a service and some people prefer to go that way since it's usually guaranteed uh, if it breaks or something like that then you know at least you get your tablet replaced if you didn't do it on your own All right. anyways AppSuck05 HP touchpad oh one quick thing I forgot to mention this tablet the speakers sound awesome phenomenal this actually has beats audio now last but not least I forgot about this you can dual boot this type this tablet so right now we're in Android you can actually reboot into webOS so you don't lose the webOS side at all if that's what you want you want both sides you you don't lose that at all you can go into webOS and you can go back and forth to Android and all your pictures all your music all those type of files are still available they're still accessible from both sides so you can be in Android or and look at the pictures that you actually took with the camera when you were on the HP side uh, on the webOS side sorry since that camera does work now you do have to download a, a, a camera app from their market because for some reason these things do not come preloaded with one there's some free ones but from my understanding most of them are are paid um, just gonna record until it boots up into webOS just to show you that it works anyways for some reason it it takes a little bit of time when the boots up in the web OS side even without doing this Android thing I always thought it took a little bit longer and guys the other thing is this thing takes a while to charge it will not let you turn it on even if you have it plugged in if it doesn't have a certain amount of charge and it takes it takes a while so don't let it run out of charge if you guys have one and don't freak out if it if it if for some reason you think it's not it's broken or something don't freak out it just takes a while there you go the app drawer or whatever they call it on this side uh, you can open the calendar app and you can close it simple as that it's a really nice system it's just I really like Android myself so AppSuck05 HP touchpad running Android Sanogen Mod 7 Beta 2 till next time bye